Please, freedom! Oh, we love, we love that father-daughter team. Sorry about the technical difficulties. We are working it out. So, we can't do this without dissenters. And dissenters from countries that have been through this before. We can do it. We can't do this without the Polish, without the Romanians. And we definitely can't do it without the Chinese dissenters. All right, I'd like to introduce Zhu Wang. She's memorized her speech. She's got it in her heart, and she's going freestyle. Everybody, not her first language. Come on, Zhu Wang. Everybody give it up for Zhu Wang. Hi. It's a very beautiful day. My speech is, I am already immune to communism, and you? Um, I am a poet and writer. My favorite poet is Emily Dixon, and uh, she had written, had I not seen the sun, I would, I would not have, I would not have a bond the shade vice versa because i have experienced the dark of communism and now i cherish the freedom mostly in 2007 i began to apply for the immigration to canada the direct reason is that at that time I was a lecturer in the college, and one of my class is to teach appreciating films. But at that time, I was banned. I need to mods, use guys. YouTube. I need some mods. And every Chinese I need mods. banned to use YouTube. I lost the freedom. I have smelled some very dangerous atmosphere. So I made a decision to flee to freedom. Okay, it happened 2007 till now in 2022. What is happening in China, do you know? In Shanghai, it's a very huge international city. There are many of people, they were starving and uh, they lost the opportunity to go to the hospital if they are in serious illness. And uh, it was a very strict lockdown. And, uh, and uh, many parents were taken to the camp and uh, their young children stayed at home lonely. And uh, there are many accidents. But in Canada, what happened? In 2018, so you know, there is a ceremony of 150th anniversary for Canada. And uh, I was proud for this country. And uh, in that summer, uh, in the Parliament Hill, um, every evening, there is a, a documentary of the Canada history. I was educated by this documentary. And uh, I have known that Canada is a peaceful country. In the history, there is rarely wars. If there are some political conflicts, the people chose the way to sit down around the table to negotiate. I think it's a very price, priceless heritage of Canada. But what happened in 2022? Everyone you know, the peaceful protest was cracked down by the violence of government. And uh, what happened yesterday and today? Yesterday, my friend, Dylan, only because he used the speaker and he was arrested by the police. And today, my friend, Barbara, and she is an immigrant from Poland, 
she was arrested because, and the police asked her to back up. She is not very obedient. Okay, she was arrested. Okay, so what's the eccentric of communism? I think there are some people, and they don't believe in God. They regard themselves as supreme people than others, and、uh, they wanted to build a Eden garden in, in the world, and、uh, they want to overrule other peoples. But it's ridiculous. Now there is a, an ideology war of Christians and anti-Christians, and、uh, in Canada. The government has two ways to control people. One is the educational system, and another one is the mainstream media. CBC. Yeah, fake、and、news. news. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, I can give an example.、Uh, totally, there are thirteen mainstream media in Canada. They told us. It's those people who are not vaccinated, jeopardize people, and so people feel easy to get infected. How absurd it is! Because many of people who are not vaccinated, they are healthy, they are not infected. How can they contagious can to others? There are too much lies, and uh, uh, in in some communist countries. You know,、uh, the newspapers are、uh, there. There is full of propaganda. For example, China Daily is a propaganda newspaper. But the Trudeau government asked all of the militaries to read the China Daily, the English version. Yo. Okay.、Uh, so another way is the educational system, and、uh, in the schools. And、uh, the children are educated that there is atheism, and、uh, we don't believe God. It's so ridiculous. And、uh, I was born and grew up from an atheism country, but at last, I believe in God. <laughs> And uh, and uh, thank you for everyone when you come here. And、uh, every weekend,、um, I think our group is a little small. It's only about thirty or forty people. I hope everyone join us to fight for freedom because we are defend freedom for ourselves and for our children. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.